This video will show you how you can add Connect Wallet functionality to your Shopify app. My name is Hakeem and I'm a Web3 engineer working for eBay and my mission is to educate you on Web3 development and e-commerce. So let's begin. First of all, why would anyone want to add a Connect Wallet button to a Shopify app? Well, Web3 is a billion dollar industry and Shopify have already invested 24 million into a company called ThirdWeb and we will be using their SDK in this tutorial. Now Shopify and ThirdWeb are actually developing an e-commerce kit which is designed to accelerate the development of Web3 apps on Shopify. But why wait? By using the current ThirdWeb SDK, you can already deploy pre-vetted smart contracts so you don't have to write them and you can perform and sign transactions as you would in a normal Web3 application. Now I will list all of the requirements for this tutorial here on screen and I'll also include them in the description below as I have included them in previous Shopify tutorials. If you are following along with this tutorial, just run npm i in the root directory, the web directory and the frontend directory just to make sure the application doesn't break. So cd into web, my cd into frontend and my so once you've done that, you can then actually install the uh, third web SDK. So let's paste this in. Now, if you get this error here for the completing dependency of the Solana wallet adapter, this is because this project is using React 17. So if I open up web front end and then the package.json, you see 17 here. To fix this, simply upgrade to React 18, which is the latest version. Or we can simply just run npm i f to force in the package. This is fine if you do not plan on using any Solana wallet in your application. So if it, in my case, I can just simply upgrade to React 18. So this is how you do it. So from the front end directory, simply run npm i react at latest and react dom at latest. So now we're upgraded to 18. Okay, so now we're going to actually instantiate the third web provider in the app.jsx file. So open up this file. So from app.jsx, let's import the third web provider. Provider, yep, that's the one. And also the chain ID. So the chain ID is an enum that contains the supported chains on this SDK. And as you can see, we have mainnet, Gawali, Polygon, and it supports all the way up to Binance Smart Chain Testnet, which is interesting. Okay, but for now, we're gonna just use Go Early. And first of all, we need to wrap it in the third web provider. And then pass through the chain ID. We're not gonna use mainnet, we're gonna use Go Early. It doesn't really matter for demonstration purposes, but that's what we'll go with for now. And there we go. So this means that your application can now support the third web or web three functionality to connect your wallet. But now we need to add the actual connect wallet components. But first of all, let's actually run the application just to make sure nothing's broken yet. So let's do NPM. So let's, so let's head back to the root directory and run NPM run dev. Right. Let's click on the shareable app URL, open it. Is it sites? Okay, and there we go, nothing's broken. So let's head back to here. In the products card component, let's minimize this a bit. Scroll down, and I'm gonna just select this P tag here to replace with the connect wallet component. There we go. And so now if I save this, head back over, you'll see this connect wallet button here. Let's click on it. It has a drop down with MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, and Wallet Connects. And these are the default settings. These options here could be configured, of course, but for now, let's go with MetaMask. Connect. And there we go. We're now connected on the Gwerly testnet. And from here, as I said, you can deploy, perform transactions, sign transactions, all from your Shopify admin area. In a future video, I will show you how to handle errors, disconnects, and network changes using the third web SDK as well. So this is just the admin area itself, right? But what if you wanted to integrate Web3 functionality into the actual storefront? Well, there is a way. And in my previous video here, I show you exactly how to do that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.